calling. Take time out for beauty when Avon comes calling. Use Avon Cosmetics and you'll be enthralling for a pleasure-filled break in your daily routine. It's time to take time out for beauty. Avon calling. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Well, today is part two of my Avon series that I'm doing. This was a requested video that I try out the foundation, and if you missed my Battle of the Foundations from Thursday, I'm going to leave a link down below. You might want to just kind of pause right here, go watch that one first, and then come back to this one. Um, I already have on my foundation, which is the Avon True Color Foundation, and I also use their concealer as well. So we're going to take it from here. Um, I bought quite a bit to be able to do a full face, but not quite everything. I didn't buy a bronzer and I did not buy a highlighter, but everything else I did get. So I'm going to go in now with their Avon True Color Powder. So it's actually called their Avon True Color Smooth Minerals Powder Foundation. I didn't feel this gave enough coverage to be a considered a foundation, but it comes in 12 shades. Uh, it's normally $12, but they have it on sale for $8.99. So they say that Avon True Blend Smooth Minerals Powder Foundation delivers lightweight, buildable coverage that even skin tone with every smooth application. So again, I didn't um, use it that way. So um, the one thing I like about their packaging is so easy to get into. Like, you know, those little plastic things that you like need to pull down all the length of the product. They're staying happy doesn't like fall apart when you get like a third of the way through. It stayed intact on every single product that I opened. And the little thing that was in here for the powder, you know, I always put that little plastic thing with the teeniest, tiniest little thing to grab onto. Theirs was nice and big, so it was easy to um, get out of their packaging, or get their packaging open, I should say. So I'm just gonna go in with this with a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna tap it in. Definitely want to set this foundation because it's, they say it's lightweight. I think it feels very heavy on my skin. I'll be honest with you about it. And it's one of those foundations that you really need to like kind of settle a little bit, maybe dry down and uh, kind of sink into your face, melt, melt into your face. I'll put it that way. And I'm sorry, I have something that is creating a shadow on, or a thing of light. I don't know where it's coming from. I've tried to figure it out. Close my curtains. Tried everything. I already did set my under eyes prior to filming this because I didn't want them to crease. Okay, I think that's good enough. Um, since I do not have a bronzer or highlighter, I'm gonna pause right here, go put some of that on, and then I'll be back. All right guys, I'm back and I have bronzed and add a little bit of highlighter. So now I'm gonna try out their blush. This is the Avon True Color Luminous Blush. It's $11, they have it on sale at the time of I'm recording this, so this is on Wednesday um, for $7.99 and it comes in six shades. I picked up the color Antique Rose. So their spiel on this is Buildable Radiance Avon True Color Luminous Blush. Swipe on a pop of color that illuminates your features. Avon True Color Luminous Blush goes on soft and silky smooth with a luminous finish. The sheer blush is long wearing and buildable, ensuring your perfect look will last all day. Skin enhancing. Skin enhancing shades look great and are allergy tested. Layer for your perfect look and have a luminous glow all day. They like to use that word luminous, don't they? Um, the benefits, it's a fresh looking color. Leaves face looking radiant, goes on silky smooth, it is dermalogic tested, allergy tested, non-comedogenic, non, non I never say that right, uh, long wearing, the compact includes a mirror, yes it does, 
and you get 12 colors. Now, this is highly pigmented, and I mean highly, and it does have a glow, so if you don't like blushes with the glow, you're not going to like this one. So I am just taking the tiniest bits and tapping it on, and then blending it in. It's very easy to go over overboard like that. I think I just did it. I mean, I'm so lightly tapping into this. Okay, that one looks better. This one looks messed up. So Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try taking my powder brush and see if that toned down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so like I said, this is highly pigmented. You have to be very careful with it, but it does go on very nice. So it goes on smoothly, and I like it. All right, let's move on to our brows now. So they have the Avon True Color Glimmer Sticks. Um, this is what it looks like. It does not have a spoolie, so you will need one of your own for that. Um, I got the color blonde. It comes in, I don't know how many shades I didn't write that down. I'll put it down here at the bottom. I don't remember off the top of my head. It's normally $7.99. They had it on sale for $2.99, so great price. Um, let's go in and see how this works. I tried it the other day just once, and seems very thick and creamy. It doesn't have a very fine tip on it, as you can see, so it's really hard to get those little brow strokes. You have to use a very light hand. And again, go through with your spoolie. So that is blonde. The lightest one they have. The one thing I did discover about Avon products is you don't have a lot of selection. So, looking for eye palettes, don't expect to find one that's got like 10, 20 shades in it. It just doesn't exist on their site. But the price is really inexpensive as well. Okay, brows are done. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about this. I wish it had a finer tip on it. Um, and just doing my brows, I don't know if you can see now how much that went down. I used a lot of the product. So, on the fence still. Alright, let's move on to our eyeshadow now. So, this is the Avon True Color Multi Finish Quad. Let me open that up for you. This comes in 10 shades. It does have a nice mirror inside. And it also gives you one of these little sponge applicators that we all love. So, I'm going to take that out of there. Um, so, I picked up the color Warm Sunrise. But it does come in 10 shades, so you can go ahead and um, pick which ones you want. Um, this number one is got actually one and two. It's kind of hard to tell in here, but they are a bit shimmery. So these are the colors they recommend that you highlight with. Um, go on the lid with that. No. And then your crease color, I'm sorry, your transition shade and your crease color. So I'm going to try and do that and see how my eyes look, except I'm not going to put that number two on my lid. That's just too dark. So luckily I have gone in and put on some concealer with powder. So I really don't need to go with an all over the lid color. That's just a preference of mine. These are also very pigmented and they blend out very nicely. I don't know what happened when I ordered these. I was having some issues and I don't know if it was my computer or their website. 
Somehow I managed to order three of the same color of these and I didn't notice it when I went to check out. So I got three of these. I got two of the same blush and two of the same foundation. So I'm going to be returning my extras. I'm going to take that number four there and go right into my crease area. Ooh, my stomach's going to start rumbling. The garbage truck is here. You hear them? I'm sorry. Yeah, when I'm done filming, I'm going grocery shopping. My husband and I are both starting the keto diet. So if anybody who's on it and have some good ideas, please leave me comments down below. I'm excited to try this. I think the hard part is going to be for my husband because he loves his sweets, he loves his snacks, he loves his carbs, he dislikes vegetables. Yeah, he's going to have a hard time. Oh, and he's diabetic, so we're going to have to really watch his blood sugar and stuff while he goes through this. Okay. Um, let's take this white shade, and I'm going to lightly go under my brows with it. Made a line. Okay. Come on, blend out. Gave a little pop there. Take a smaller brush and use this as my inner core highlight too. Okay, now let's work on the lower lash line. I'm going to take that same third color that we used as the transition shade. I'm going to take that under my lashes and really smudge that out. What's also going to be hard for me is I love fruit. I love fruit. I eat fruit every single day. A banana for breakfast, I'll have an orange with lunch, an apple as a snack in the evening, um, or else I'd make a bowl of mixed berries, and i put some Greek yogurt in, and some granola, so that's all gone. I'm not happy with that. Alright, let's see what we can do to the lid. I think what I'm going to do is try mixing one and two together. White is too white, and that brown here. This is just the brown on its own, and there's really no big shimmer to it, but it just looks so dark that way. So, I'm going to go in on top of that with some of the white, lighten it up a little bit. Show the world that I do have eyelids. shade in here. Okay, not fond of those. Not too fond of those. Alright, I have two more products. One is the mascara and the next is the lipstick. Let me change my battery real quick and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and it is time for us to work on our eyelashes. So I'm going to be using the Avon True Color Super Extended Lengthening Mascara. Um, this is what the tube looks like. And I really like the wand. But this is a very, very, very wet mascara. So if you like very wet mascaras, you're going to love this. If you detest them, you're not going to love this. Um, I like to just kind of set it in front of a little fan, let it dry a little bit so it's not so wet, and I say a little bit, um, that's like 
a good 30 seconds or so because if you don't, this is going to get all over your face. I'm going to insert some photos right here showing you what I'm talking about. So you can see how it is below my lower lashes, it's on my lid, it's on the side of my face, it's um, right up and above, or right below my eyebrows, it's just all over it and it's messy. And I was trying to let it dry. So I've just done that, let's go in and see how it looks. other people put on mascara in their videos and I wonder how they can do their top lashes first because if I were to do that I would get even more mascara on my eyelid. Okay, it's got something dangling off of it. Now because this is so wet I'm actually not even going to re-dip right now. I'm just going to go into the other side. Okay, let's see if we have enough, but we can go to the top lashes. I tell you guys, since I went back to using my Care Post, my lashes are growing like crazy again. And I also repermed them last week, so I've got my permanent curl lashes for a while. I love that. If you guys are daring enough to do it, you can buy the kits on Amazon. I'll link, uh, leave a link below to the one that I got. It's really inexpensive and it gave very clear instructions and everything you needed to do it. I did it three times now and I think every time I do it, I do it better. Kind of if you guys haven't tried Care Post either, I always have a link down there for Reliable RX, which is where I order mine from. And you can get one little tube for like $15, $16, and that will last you a very long time. Well, I say a long time because you only need one drop a day out of it. It lasts you several months. Okay, I'm going to quickly comb through my eyelashes because I always do. And do I want a second coat? Oh, you can see, I already got some right there all over my lids so you just got to be careful with this all right I'm not going to go in with the second coat because I think that's sufficient for my lashes today so let's move on to their lipstick by the way I don't think I told you the price on this this is normally um, eight dollars and it's on sale for $5.99 so it says long lengths Avon true color super extended lengthening mascara the lash lifting mascara with Magna Lift Complex has keratin to strengthen the lashes. Magnetic fibers work like magnets to instantly attract lashes and extend them to the extreme new lengths. So the benefits is that the Mega Length brush volumizes and sculpts each lash, won't clump, spudge, or flake, lie. Um, hypoallergenic, light reflective, shiny finish, and longer and healthier looking lashes. All right, now we have the Avon True Color Nourishing Lipstick. Comes in 25 shades, uh, normally $8. They have it on sale for $4.99. So it says, give your lips some TLC with high impact color, moisturizing texture, and a creamy feel. 
100% improvement in lips health and dryness in just two weeks, infused with marine collagen and jojoba oil to nourish and plump and soften your lips and fine lines, keeps lips feeling nourished and conditioned even after you take it off, full even lasting coverage and a satin finish. So I got the color Sparkling Rose and this is what it looks like. Um, that's not a rose color to me, so that was really kind of deceiving on their website. Let's go ahead and put this on. It is indeed very creamy. Very pigmented. And it does feel very moisturizing. I almost feel like I am putting on a lip balm type product with this. So I um, wore it for the first time yesterday. It was not long wearing for me. Um, didn't even make it through a simple snack of apples. And it had worn off and it wore off very, very evenly. Um, so anyway, that's how it looks. You can see I'm still getting little flakes of mascara. I'm going with my Let's go ahead and kind of scratch those off. All right, guys, that's it. This is the full face of Avon. So anyway, what do you guys think? Have you tried Avon lately? Is this something you think that you would be interested in trying? I'm going to have links to everything down below in the description box if you're interested. And again, Avon, you can get your Ebates with it. So make sure that you select um, Ebates when you go shopping online with it. So I want to thank you all for watching. This was a lot of fun. I want to thank uh, C Mom to Boys for asking me to do the foundation, which led to this look right here. I'm very pleased with everything except for the brow product. I'm, I'm a little on the fence with that. Um, it's, it smudged a little bit on me yesterday, so eh, we'll see how it lasts today. Um, but yeah, everything else I really, really enjoy, except the blushes are far too pigmented. Just go in with a very, very light hand on them, so be careful. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And as always, I love you all. So bye-bye. As I thought I would give you an updated uh, beauty room tour since I have moved things completely around in this room. So I'm going to start out, I'm actually by the door. Um, over here I've got two cabinets that carry just a bunch of junk in it quite honestly. This is my filming desk. Um, the last time I did an update I did not have this cloth down here. It kind of helps cover up all of the uh, wires and stuff. Hey Carilla, she's in here right now. Say hi. Say hi. We got her one of those thunder shirts. See if that'll help her calm down some. But um, so anyway, and then I still have the lamp and the little table here and the chair um, kind of going over. This was the corner I was originally in. And uh, since we do want to get like a hide a bed or a futon or something in here at some point, we thought it would be best if I moved to the other corner. Um, up on this shelf, it's just a bunch of little knickknacks knacks and stuff. And then we still have my mom's um, cedar chest down here. And there's some of my wigs and toppers that I have, some products I'm trying out. This is something that was sent to me to review too. Foot massager, it's heavenly, just wonderful. Uh, and then you might recognize this from the video I did. This was from my dollar store makeup caddy that I made. I've got that sitting on some of my um, Acrylic drawers. Yeah, that's it. They're, um, I'll leave a link for those. Those are very inexpensive and they're modular. And actually, let me show you all of them. So, this is where I keep all my makeup. This used to be in our bathroom. And what I love about these drawers, like I said, they're modular. So, you can mix and match. So see how I have a tall one here and then two shorter ones. Then I have one big, long one. Down here, I have two medium-sized ones. So you can buy them differently and then move them around to suit your needs. In the center there, I've got my makeup mirror. And then I've got more makeup. There is my MacBook. 
my camera and then I have lights on either side. I also have a light that shines up over my eyes, or my eyes, over my head. Um, my microphone, got a TV in here, but I have, don't have it all the way plugged in. Uh, there are all the earrings, not all the earrings, because I have more down here. My necklaces, um, just a little sign that I have. May your lashes be long and your ambitions high. And then this is the little um, tray that used to be silver that I spray painted the rose gold my eyelash stuff and some powders. And I did put some lights back here. You can see them right there. Um, it just kind of gives a little bit more light in the background. These things are ones that you saw behind me when I was in our office. So I've moved them over into those units because they actually fit. I've got those two bins and that one down there full of eyeshadows, as well as this drawer here full of eyeshadows. So I think I'm getting to the point I need to uh, do another clean out. Um, got a couple more of my wigs down there. And then I just kind of have a little drunk cap, junk cabinet over there just to hold things like tape and scissors and mirrors and headbands and things like that. On top here, I have another little Lazy Susan. I've had this for actually for quite a while. And I bought some magnets because that way I can just stick all of my bobby pins right on that. And that works out really, really good. So little things like some earrings that I can't fit on that thing. Those go there. This is pretty much different types of setting sprays and stuff. Um, I've got a little stack over there I've started of things that um, just didn't work for me. So I'm going to be donating those. And I think that kind of brings us to the end of everything. There's the door where we started out. Oh, on my uh, desk, I should show all this too. These are my brushes that I use the most. So um, I put them inside this because it just spins around. There's my Dece Isonic Massager. Make sure I use that every morning now. So this is really cool to have that right there. Um, this is actually a little mirror coaster thing and I use that as my um, palette, I should say. And then I have one of these things to clean my brushes off right handy. Um, I just taped it to the drawer because it's handy that way and doesn't take up any desk space. I just finished filming my Avon um, 2 video, so if you missed those, go back and watch them as well. Let me talk about everything I have in these drawers too. So this has um, my primers. This has stuff for contacts and hair stick stuff. This is all concealers right here. Down here are some of my powders. These are bronzers. Move my oranges out of the way, sorry. I'm snacking. Uh, these are my different highlighters and then blushes. You can see my Joy one is right on top. It's right where I need it. Then I've got different lip liners in these two drawers. This drawer has little um, cotton swab things, glasses, and things like that. These. And then this drawer has some products I need to try. Over here, and I have brow products. And these are all my mascaras and curling, um, eyelash curlers, combs, things like that. We already saw this drawer with the eyeshadows in it. This drawer has my drugstore foundations, whereas this one on this side has all the high-end foundations. And then below this, I have regular lipsticks. Uh, liquid lipsticks. Lip glosses. And then these are lipsticks I need to try. And then I've got just some um, the crayon type ones. Um, I those glosses in there. You don't belong in there. No. Okay. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I think I've covered everything in the drawers. So thanks for watching. That's my snack right there, oranges. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and I'm so glad to have a room all to myself that I'm not sharing with my husband because I can come in here anytime and work on this stuff. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. And until next time, I love you all. Bye-bye.